we have finally gotten all the fighters participating in the Berserker Ball revealed, with it being filled with jobbers, sadly. However, we did get a few interesting characters returning that I'm very excited for. With this lineup, we can actually make a prediction on the whole bracket, as in the previous chapter, 161, we got this panel, which by itself is cool. However, in the draft pages for that very same chapter, we got this one showing that the pool order on who fights who may not be in alphabetical order. So just in case, I'm going to do a prediction little segment on both of these potential brackets. Of course, just going over who I think is going to win in each of the pools as well. Starting out with pool A, we actually have a character return, this dude. He faced Ray prior to the Kangen Usher Annihilation Tournament, with him having quite a few Kangen wins under his belt, so not a jobber by any means. He's also a survivor of Kanagito having lost against him during Kano's early days, and I guess his early days as well. So I expect him to be quite deadly, however I do believe the winner of Pool A will be Leonardo Silva, one of the supernovas, but definitely going to be a good fight between him and Hong. Pool B is pretty much free wins for Cosmo. We do have this guy who was defeated by Garuki, but these other two guys, new characters, I don't think any of them pose any threat for Cosmo. A similar thing for Pool C. Pretty much the Bozo pool with Rito most likely just stomping all of them. Pool D is quite interesting. We have two supernovas, Kim and the Monk, and another poetry fighter we've actually seen fight earlier in Kangen Omega. So that bracket's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to give it to Kim for Pool D, but I think him and the Monk are going to have a pretty badass fight. Pool E, of course, is going to Koga. This other Kim guy was revealed during the Taekwondo Kim's like side story chapter. I believe he's a B-lister. And one of the victims of Hassad actually returns here as well, got loaded by Hassad in early Ashra, which I guess is cool, but Jobber pretty much on his forehead at this point. Pool F is one of the most stacked ones, having Adam, Himuro, and Haruo, and this Luka guy who looks quite deadly in his own regard. I'm personally going to say Himuro is going to take the dub for Pool F, but this one isn't going to be easy by any means. Cosmo praises Adam in the previous chapter, so Cosmo believes Adam is quite strong now. Haruo's been training with Seki ever since the Kangen Ashura days. He seems to be a lot bigger, and if he's able to bring out his warrior spirit, he could be very deadly. And I wouldn't even be surprised if he actually does come out on top of this bracket, but for now, my bet is on Himuro, but he may sustain quite a few injuries. For Pool G, the second or potentially the most stacked one next to Pool F, we have Saw Pang, the return of Sorda, Falcon, and Nam. So this one may be a bit controversial, but I do believe Falcon is going to be the advancer for Pool G. Saw Pang, as you know, recently had his fight with Sega Bahashi. I think that fight is going to play a part into why Falcon is going to come out on top. Of course, I would have much preferred Saw Pang and Falcon make it into the bracket, but only one of them can do it, and I just have this feeling it's going to be Falcon. And for the last pool, Pool H, we have Garoki, another Hasad victim from early Ashra, Shiba, one of the ultimate jobbers, and this new dude. Of course, I think everyone believes Garoki is going to advance. Shiba may be pretty interesting, maybe he's copied some of Garuki's techniques, a mirror match or something like that, but yeah, Garuki most likely stop, especially after his recent Kiryu training. So the regular or alphabetical lineup first, my prediction is as follows. Leonardo Silva vs Cosmo, of course I think Cosmo is probably going to win around mid-diff. Rito vs Kim is going to be a, probably a very close fight, but I'm going to give it to Rito for this one. Koga vs Himuro, I'm going to give it to Koga. Mainly protagonist vibes. If Himuro does win, I wouldn't be too shocked, but I think Koga's got this. Garoki vs Falcon, I'm going to give it to Garoki, as Roki's whole reason for entering the tournament, of course, was to fight Koga, so him actually doing so is kind of, you know, cool. We all want to see that. And then for the next round, Cosmo vs. Rito. I think Cosmo is going to win this one. Probably high diff. 
Koga versus Garoki. I do actually believe it's going to be Koga. This is what's going to push the story forward considering Garuki's character. So Koga is going to win that one. Probably extremely high diff though. And then for Cosmo versus Koga for the final, I think Cosmo is going to win. This is personally what I want the actual tournament to be lined up as the alphabetical way rather than the draft one, which I'll get into now. Hoping I got the order right on the draft page to this thing I made here. If I didn't, that's a huge L on my part, but first up, Leonardo vs Koga, of course I'm giving it to Koga. Cosmo vs Himuro, which would be a pretty high fight considering Himuro was compared to Cosmo by Sandovich in Kanganashra, so of course I'm going to give it to Cosmo. Falcon vs Rito rematch, that would be pretty hype as well, of course... Rito knows Falcon's fighting style, even if he's changed up a little bit, I think Rito's surpassed Falcon by this point. Kim vs Garuki, another very interesting fight, we're going to give it to Garuki. And then Koga vs Cosmo, we're going to give it to Cosmo, probably high diff. Then Rito vs Garuki, I'm going to give it to Garuki. It is possible Rito could take the dub in that regard as well. I wouldn't be too surprised, but I'm going to say it's Garuki. And then the final, probably high diff, of course. And then the final will be Cosmo vs Garuki. I think Cosmo is going to win that. So if the draft lineup is what gets through, this is my prediction for that. And if it's another lineup that we have no idea about, that's unlucky to me. I'll probably make an updated one in a future video. Some other things to really mention is Nogi made it a point to not let Oma enter the Berserker Ball. Of course, if Ohm entered, he would absolutely stomp everyone in it. But the main reason is most likely for Omo to enter the new Kanga Annihilation Tournament, wanting Omo to be in peak condition for that. And I'm guessing Nogi wants Omo to be his fighter. Maybe he's given up on Hatsumi or believes Omo is certified above Hatsumi at this point, which he clearly is. So that's probably the reasoning for that, unless it's something else we have no idea about. It's confirmed that the Berserker Ball will be done under Kangen rules. So while killing isn't technically allowed, if it's an accidental kill, a fighter can still win. So I guess that's good for Garuki. And we do see one of the first pool fights between Koga and this wrestler dude. Of course, I expect Koga to win next chapter against this guy. I don't think he'll be too much of a threat. And there's also a decent amount of time between the fights for the fighters to actually recover. So I don't think injuries will play a huge role in deciding the turn of the bracket. Unlike the Kang Annihilation Tournament, which was multiple fights in like a few days, there's a big rest period or break in between the fights, even for the initial pull. So that's good for some of the characters as well, I guess. I don't think we're going to see all the fights in the pools, maybe just a few, but the bracket of the actual Berserker Ball is going to be pretty hype. I'm expecting a lot of the fights to be high diff, if not all of them potentially. But that's pretty much everything for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to check out all the other stuff in the description. As always, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. And of course, shout out to the Mad Lads who support our channel via the Patreon. But yep, that's it guys. Peace.